What's up guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be doing Jujutsu Kaisen Sukuna sitting on his throne. So it's that scene where he's got like his um, hand on his cheek, you know, and he's like looking down, smiling, all confident. Because he is a confident guy, Sukuna, isn't he? So head tilt, right, and it's an upshot. And what that means is like we're looking up at him and he's looking down at us. So if we're the viewer, we're sort of below. So it's a bit of a tricky face sort of proportion to do because you can like nearly see up his nostrils and all this kind of stuff, right? So I'm on a landscape page. Use a pencil and eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. Get to do first is what I recommend. And then you can do your ink afterwards or you could just shade it with pencil, right? So to begin, like the head is up here, right? And his hand is on his cheek. So, we do the eyes, right? So, that's where I say that's where we'll start. So, center point about here, up, and we're clo I'm close to the top of my page, right? We just, it's tricky to get the distance right, I know. So, you might be able to fit in more of his hair or less. So, that eye, right? So, we'll just go diagonal. First, or we'll just go diagonal here, and then we'll bring it across this way. Now we're going horizontal, okay, because his head is tilted, and the top eyelid is usually thicker than the bottom. So he's just thicken up the eyelid line a little bit. Right, something like that. And a spiky on the end. And then the bottom eyelid will come down diagonal and then across here. And he's looking down at us so we can just see like this half circle shape on the bottom of his eye there. And the pupil will be here and then color that in black, right? Now, um, so see this horizontal line, diagonal line, should I say? So we're not straight. We're going down this way, right? So his other eye, same sort of thing, diagonal, and then across. And right, you thicken this up. So, and then the bottom eyelid down. And then back up towards this one. So it just comes down from the corner and then back up to here. And then pupil, half circle, pupil and iris. Like so, right? Looking down. Okay. Do, 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 do. So what we can see right of his eyebrows and his nose and stuff. So there's like a line here for where his nose starts and this joins his eyebrow. Just up here, so this will go like diagonal, just back. And then we've got like an area to color in, right? And it gets thin towards the end and wider at the front, so it goes that way. It might be an eyelid line just here. And an eyelid line over this side, like that. And his other eyebrow, like here somewhere. And just add a space to color in. Like so. Right. So his nose, like I said, so we can just like see kind of the side of his nose, right? Comes down there. And the 
nostrils, we've got these kind of two little arrows kind of pointing up. That's the way they're drawn in anyway. So and maybe the curve at the side here. So we can nearly like see up his nose. And his mouth fairly far down, but he's a big smile, right? So it's like starts underneath his pupil here. We go diagonal and then we bring it across and then it curves up the other side to there right and we might have this little curving line on the side here as well and then we can see a top lip line just in the middle and a bottom lip line here So his chin, real square sort of chin down here, like that. So we're not really in like proportion or anything now, right? Because his head is tilted back. So this whole space is real small compared to this, right? So I would say eyebrows to say his top lip, just in between the nose and his top lip here is about the same as chin to top lip. Right, so here to here, about the same as here to here. Say that top lip line actually, here to here, about the same as here to here. So like when when a character's head tilts back, right, this whole space gets smaller compared to this, right. So this is like because it's perspective, it's going away from us. It's always a little bit trickier to draw things like this, but it's good to learn, I guess. So jaw. goes up this side and then goes up like so right and we can't really see the jaw on the other side so it just goes like this way right and we'll stop it like there because he's got these knuckles that are on his cheeks so we can't see them all right so we'll just do the hair around this side so we got like a hair line here so this is his sideburn and the sideburn will become the ear so we'll like go around there and down to there and then you can see some bones and ligaments on the inside easiest way to do it is always this sort of letter j sort of shape right and then you can add more if you want So his hairline is, again, this is real small, so it's real close to his head, kind of. He's got this sort of V kind of area, put it here, right? And then these have zigzag lines that go the whole way around. Real spiky. And down to there. And then this will keep going around. Come down the side of his head. And on the other side here. And this will go down sort of. And we're gonna leave a gap. You could you could go the whole way if you wanted, but you're just gonna have to raise it. So because he's got like his fist coming across here. Okay. But we just finished the rest of his hair. I can't fit like all the hair but I'll fit as much as I can. So we've got like hair spikes coming out this way. So it's always trickier when we have a character sort of in a different position. You know what I mean? Just sort of like that. So the hair will go off the top of my page and come back in like over here. A few more room you can. There's just like hair spikes and texture. And like you can go the whole way around, but I just run out of room. And it's not actually drawn in, in, in the anime. So, um, right, keep going with the hair. I think we can see all the hair. I don't think it disappears behind his fist at all. 
comes down this way, spiking around. And you can see a little brown spike here, and then it goes behind his ear, so we can see some of his ear there. And then this is like pink, and that's brown. And then you can add like some just standard sort of texture. So, right. So, I think I'll do that hand and then we'll do um, his tattoos. So, we can see knuckles, right? We can see three and his little finger here. And then like there's one more that goes back down his arm. So, we'll start with one here, right? So, we'll just bump just there. Second one that way. Third one this way. And then his pinky sticks out there. And it comes down and in. So hands are always tricky, so take your time. Little finger comes back, bumps in that way. You have three segments on your fingers, always remember that. One, two, three. So one, two, three. See? One, two, three. And you have two knuckles on each finger. So one. So one, two. And a third segment kind of just folds it up like skin lines there and then the back of his hand will go down this way somewhere and then we have another knuckle over here We start to go this way. We can see some more fingers just under this part of his hand. So that way. Come down here like another finger underneath and a little bit more of his finger here. Okay, and then his wrist. So his wrist kind of goes down this way, right? How far? You go the whole way down to his elbow. Yeah, it kind of goes behind real long that way. And the other side. So it goes behind like a piece of stone or skull or something here. They're skulls, so it's a skull. It goes down that way somewhere. And his elbow goes in behind it. And then the other side of his arm. It's like an arm line there. All right, so how wide do I want this to be? So like here, and then like an elbow line there. So that's like a muscle line, and then the other side of his arm here. And so it's always wider here and gets skinnier up towards the wrist. width and then it'll go around and up towards the knuckle there bring this up a bit higher and kind of like that and then like a knuckle line here there got wrist tattoos and some of his ears in here okay so then the tattoos on his face so we got this one in the middle so we got like circle and then these two sort of spikes on the side. So it comes down here, up diagonal, into there, back down here. Same thing on this side. Same on both sides of his face. So whatever you do on this side, 
we do the same thing on the other, roughly. And then on his cheek, so we've got these sort of V sort of shapes. There. And then I put him down on his face here. One come in behind the knuckle. I think there's an eye on those, but they're closed. Closed in this picture, anyway. This way. These ones will snake the whole way down his jaw, so it goes like down this way. here and this on the other side as well so okay and then two sort of fang like ones here and one on his nose so this kind of goes up I can go around his nose, around the top of his nose, around like this. And then double it up, kind of. Around there. Right, I think that's all that's on his face, anyway. And then his neck it comes down here. And then he's got his robe right comes across his chin comes up this way down there 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 okay so he's mostly he's wearing like a big robe and it's all folded sort of across his neck and then his shoulders come down and lots of fold lines and stuff and there's like a horn here and maybe another one I'll put another one on the back just because I want to see more of those skulls so, yeah, so we'll just go down this way, across here, and up. So it's like a scarf or something that he's got on. All right, and this will go down this way, up towards his finger, and like another layer, down here, down to there, that way, down to there, shoulder sticks out here, this line should go underneath his hand, you should see some shoulder on this side as well. He's got these crisscross robes here, so like a little arrow sort of pointing down. Black will go down and meet his other arm, which is sitting across his lap. So he's real casual pose, right? right there, I'll just finish his shoulder on this side first, just so we get an idea of where his arm might be. There, all these folds and things. I guess we gotta get this arm in now. So, come on across. There. And then his wrist, and it folds down. There's like a knuckle just there. And he has tattoos and things on his wrist here, and it's sitting on his lap, right? So, his lap comes across. So he's like crossed his legs, you know, his legs are crossed on top of one another. And then his sleeve here. So this is like all clothing now and folds and 
bring this a little bit further. And then his robe again, so it comes up around down that way. And then up over this way. Lots of these fold lines now and fabric. Right now his wrist here we've got like some some of those tattoos. Go around it again. Just like up here. Maybe knuckle lines. Just there and then more folding clotheslines, right? So this robe goes that way. There. And up to there. Down like so. This is all just now folding clotheslines. So there's not much I can say in way of description. It's just, you're sort of following the shape of his body. Do you know, it's just like wrapping around his arm here. Like so. Like this is like a bullhorn. So it's got all these cracks and things on it. It's like bone. Um, right. Stuff coming around, right? And then, so it's like the top of the skull, right? Where it's like a cow or some sort of animal, right? And then this horn will go. Depending on where you want to put it, really. You spiking out there. And this can have like. lines here go around I'm gonna put another one over here just cuz just cuz I can Right, but that's it. That's everything. That is how to draw Sukuna sitting on his throne. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.